Hi guys, it's me, Miss Fry Mills. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have another topic. And today I was asked to give my views on what I thought about trans people competing in Olympic sports and also trans people being in the army. Now, obviously, two different things, but they have a similar theme connecting them in the fact that um, people don't think that there should be trans people doing sports or being in the army. Now, my views on both of those things generally just upon a personal level, for me personally, um, I'm not really a sporty kind of person. I did gymnastics when I was younger, but that was about it. So I'm not really a big fan of doing exercise generally. So uh, on a personal level, I can't understand why someone would want to put themselves through that through choice. But of course, everyone has their own opinions and choices in life and if people want to do that that's fine it's very entertaining so i'm not going to stop anybody that is just my personal view and when it comes to joining the army my personal view again on that is um i'm not going to kill myself for a country that doesn't think i should exist there you go <laughs> but again everyone has their own opinions and their own choices and who am i to stop someone having their own views and opinions and choices in life so there you go uh, my view on it is that uh, when it comes to sports and having trans people in sports now recently there's been a lot of issues with having trans women competing on uh, in sport uh, being on the female teams as it were because people are saying that you know um, someone who was born male is going to be faster stronger uh, than a genetic woman now that would be true in the way of a genetic man just literally competing as a female competitor. But if you take into the consideration the fact that a trans woman has hormones um, and she doesn't behave in the same way as a genetic man would, she's not going into it like a man. She's going into it like a woman. So her physical strength is just not going to be the same because... Uh, a woman's mind is constructed in a different way and even though they fight in the same ways it just doesn't it's just not the same anyone who would understand what a transsexual person actually is would understand how that would not be a factor and also if you want to uh, say that you know you can't have a trans woman competing as a woman next to other women because it's unfair then what's the difference between um a taller man or a stronger man than, than another man who's shorter and less with less muscle mass competing against another man is that not the same comparison of unfairness i don't see how a trans woman competing with other women is such a big stretch of difference than it would be just from a short man and a tall man or a, a muscular man and a very skinny man i think the the level of distance between those two people competing is exactly the same and i don't think that uh, there's any unfairness there. I think it's completely valid that a trans woman should be allowed to compete because, you know, we all know that we, a lot of women can be a lot stronger than men. It's a fact, you know. I think it's just down to this fact that I think other people are scared of losing to a trans person and also they just want to, like, ban it outright by saying, you know, I, it is not valid if this person beats me, uh, which is completely ridiculous. But... Uh, that's my view on it. I don't think that there's any issue with it at all because of those comparisons that I just mentioned. I just think it was ridiculous. When it comes to people joining the army, I mean, forget the fact about trans people anyway. You know, if you want to join the army, it's a very dangerous thing. Uh, fighting for your country, yes, it's very brave and very noble. But when, you, when you're when you in a minority group and your benefits and your rights as a person in general in the country that you live in, are very different to everybody else's. I find it very hard to understand why you would still want to go and protect people that would uh, rather you did not exist or rather you did not ruin their, their community by having you there or just would rather cross the street than have to deal with you. You know, people who can't understand that a human being is a human being, you know, I would find that very difficult to think, why am I doing this? Now, I'm sure I've, I'm not someone who would... I'm not very um, into guns and fighting and all that kind of stuff and masculine traits, I suppose you could call them. Um, they're not, but you know what I'm saying. I've never been interested in any of that kind of stuff, so it just wouldn't appeal to me anyway. So I don't know all of the reasons why someone would join the army, maybe who's someone who is in the army, maybe a trans person who is in the army, who has some light that they can shed on that for me. It would be fantastic if you could leave some comments in the comment section. 
that would be fantastic. So I don't know the answers to the, those questions. I can only go on my own opinions and I certainly would not be fighting for a country that wasn't supporting me. That's my views. Those are my views on those two subjects. I hope that they were informative. I hope they helped you come to your own decisions. What are your views? Let me know in the comment section. And until the next video, love you lot. See you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.